Hello everyone, this is Rich and I'm going to show you how to resize photos the easy way. Uh, I have a folder here with some photos from my recent trip to Epcot Center at Disney. And uh, you see the photos I have here. I'm currently viewing this in film strip mode. Uh, you can also view it in thumbnails if you don't have the film strip option. But anyway, here are the photos. If I hover over an image, it will say that the, the dimensions, the data was taken, camera, the type of image it is and the size which shows to be 1.77 megabytes if you don't see this pop up you can right click the uh, photo and then go to properties and then it will show it here size 1.77 megabytes 1,859,384 bytes this is all well and good because it's a nice big image but the problem is is that it's a little too big to send to some people via email and uh, especially if you're sending to someone that works in an office, the uh, it may be too big to send to them. Also, it takes a long time to upload. If you upload them to accounts like Flickr or uh, any one of those other photo sharing services like Photo Bucket or something like that. So, how do we resize this stuff the easy way? <clears throat> excuse me, without taking all of our time. Well, there's a couple ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it the online way and the offline way. Let me just cancel this out and bring up a web browser. Go to Firefox. Uh, the first website I'm going to show you is one called webresizer.com. As you can see, the title bar says Crop and Resize Pictures Free Online Optimized Photos for Websites, MySpace, Email, and so on and so forth. We're on the Photo Resizer and we just go to Resize Photos link and then it's going to ask us to upload an image to optimize. We click browse. Uh, I happen to be in the folder where my photos are already. I'm going to right click in a blank area, go to thumbnails, pick the image I want, which happens to be this one. Double click it. It will put in the entire path to the file and then I'm going to click upload image. The maximum file size that it will allow is 5 megabytes. Now just so you're aware, uh, the only time you get a uh, file size of 5 megabytes on a JPEG, which is what the majority of digital cameras do, is if you take it at a super, super, super high res, most of us won't get anywhere close to this. Most of us are going to have somewhere around the neighborhood of 1.5 to 3 megabyte photos, which is fine. We click Upload Image. And this is the only part that sucks right here, is where it says Loading Your Image. We have to wait until the photo has been uploaded and then we have some options to uh, resize the image so right now we're you know, playing the waiting game just waiting for the image to upload unfortunately this is not too much better than using something like Flickr or photo bucket or something like that because whenever you have to transfer data across the internet you have to wait okay so it's done so here's our optimized image and here's the original image but that's not what we're going to pay attention to we're going to go down here and say new size 400 pixels wide for width and you'll notice that it'll say it's 97 percent smaller the original size 1815.80 kilobyte then the new size 37.59 kilobyte we'll click apply changes you can resize it to whatever you want, by the way, but the default is 400 pixels wide, which is fine. That's People can view images just fine like that. So the new size is 400 by 300, and it's 97% smaller. I click Download This Image. It's going to ask me to save it. I click Save to Disk. Well, this is in Firefox and Internet Explorer. There's also a similar save option. And click OK. And then I'm going to choose where to save it to. I'm going to save it directly to my desktop and click Save and let me just minimize this browser and the new file is here and when I hover over it 400 by 300 37.5k if I right click and go to properties for this image it is correct 37.5k and that's a lot smaller than the original 1.7 megabyte image and this is just fine for uploading to websites and sending to people and uh, people that have to watch their email space that's fine you can just do that now the second way is to use the offline method method and I use software free software called GIMP GIMP if I go to Google and I search GIMP 
for Windows and then click I'm feeling lucky. You'll say getting and installing GIMP. Uh, we want to click the link that says automated installer and then click on download on the next page and the two things you're going to need is the GT GTK plus two runtime environment download link is here and then GIMP for Windows download link is here. There are two downloads for GTK plus two runtime environment. The only thing you have to pay attention to is one is for Windows 2000 XP and newer and the other one is for Windows 98 ME and NT4. So if you're running Windows XP you want the one that says Windows 2000 and newer. So anyway when we go and get that software installed we can just uh, double click an image and uh, let me just go get my image back there go here and there it is. I'll double click it and it's opening GIMP and here is my image. Now to resize an image in GIMP is actually very simple to do. All you have to do is click on image and then scale image and uh, let's just say we wanted to make this exactly what like we just did in webresizer.com. I'll just type the width as 400 and then just click down here and it will automatically calculate the other height so 4 to 3, oh, this isn't 400 to 300 and then click scale and uh, then I press the 1 key on my keyboard and then now this is a 400 by 300 image and then I just go to file and then save as it will ask me where to save it uh, I can drop down the menu here and put it directly on my desktop so it's saving to the desktop. I can title the file whatever I want, uh, such as uh, Epcot Center Space Adventure, and then just click Save. Now, if you don't put the .jpg, it's going to give you a little error message, uh, unknown file type. So we click OK, and then just put .jpg for JPEG, and then click Save and then it's going to ask us for the quality rating. By default it'll be 85. If you want super high quality you go to 100 but 85 is just fine. It compresses the file a little bit so it's even smaller and we'll click OK and it saved the image to the desktop. And let me just uh, close GIMP and close this and here is the file I just did. So if I hover over this and right click and go to properties you'll see that the file is roughly the same size as it would have been if we uh, use the webresizer.com method of doing this. Now the advantage to using GIMP over say webresizer is that it's instantaneous gratification you don't have to upload anything you just double click the file after transferring the image from your camera to your computer and then go ahead and edit it and uh, that's essentially it that's how you do it. Oh, yeah.